A cloud of gross sulfur smoke blanketed parts of Atmore this morning as firefighters tried to get a handle on a chemical fire near the Atmore Country Club. Located on Industrial Drive on Highway 31, News 5's Chad Petrie was there and brings us more on that story. This was as close as I could get before being asked by a police officer to turn around because the cloud of sulfurous smoke was unsafe. When officers first arrived and notified the appropriate personnel, uh, their words was, it's bad. Even police officers more than a mile away from the fire were wearing gas masks. Homeowners smelling it from a distance agreed to stay inside. Some were notified on social media or a robocall from the fire department. Burnt matches, burning matches. It just stinks. <laughs> I mean, literally. But I got a little baby and I just don't want her breathing it in. Just, just, uh, just watching out for the young ones, you know. Don't want them outside in it. While some homeowners were notified, others were blissfully unaware that anything was happening outside their homes. We were kind of unaware of it, but if it's really, really bad and we have to evacuate, then, then we'll evacuate. We ain't even been outside, so <laughs> we ain't smelt or heard nothing. The fire started at about 5.30 Saturday morning at a Tiger Sol Sulfur Storage Warehouse. Firefighters had the blaze contained, but chemicals inside kept the fire and smoke around long after that. In Atmore, Chad Petrie, News 5. Now, Atmore's police chief says no one was working in the facility during the fire. Luckily, no employees were hurt. He says some firefighters were treated, though, for heat exhaustion.